Hi hey everyone, so today we're gonna start our new unit on inequalities. Uh, we're gonna start kind of slow and then slowly build our way up to um, the stuff that you need to learn in eighth grade. Um, so this is gonna be uh, a review before we start unit five, but it correlates with unit five, um, inequalities, and then my page number is 23. Okay, so today is April 29th, and again, we are doing inequalities review. Um, so let's start just by going over all the different things regarding inequalities, um, what the symbols mean, how you read them, um, and then also how to graph them. So um, let's start with x greater than. So whenever you see this, there's always going to be a number here, what the, or even sometimes an equation, or, uh, yeah, an equation. This means x is greater than. So x cannot equal what's over here, it has to be greater than. This one means x is less than. Um, and then with this, if you ever forget, I'm sure you learned the little alligator rule. The alligator eats the bigger number, so if it's pointing this way, that means x is the bigger number. If it's pointing away, that means that this is the bigger number. Okay, next one. So the little symbol, the line below, means or equal to. So x is greater than or equal to. And then for this one here, other direction, x is less than or equal to. Um, in the Google quiz, in the video that I had you watch, they said that this was x is greater than or equal to, and they forgot to draw the symbol, so this symbol here always means or equal to. Okay, so let's do some examples reading inequalities. So we have x and then that symbol and 16. So what this says here is x is greater than 16. So it could be 17, 28, 49, but it cannot be 16 and it can't be less than 16. Okay, let's do another one. Actually, well, whatever. So here it has the line under and so this says x is greater than or equal to 14. Okay, next one, they talked about this in the video. You're probably not going to see this very often because usually they write it the next way that we're going to look about it, but you can also see it as x and then the less than sign 4 or the greater than sign six. So sometimes you'll see it written like this where there's an or sign, um, x is less than four or x is greater than six. Let's try and fit that in. And then lastly, we have And what this says, so here we have x, so it's pointing this direction, so x is greater than 3, and then here it's pointing away, which means it's also less than or equal to 18, so it's in between those. So x is greater than 3 um, and less than or equal to 18. And you can also see this one kind of written like this as well, where um, the x is in between the two, or you could see it with the or sign as well. So now let's do some examples. Graphing inequalities. Okay. 
Okay, so let's do um, x is less than 4. So let's draw a number line. And let's do negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So whenever there's no or equal to, whenever you're graphing these, it's going to have an open circle above the number because that shows that it cannot be equal to four. And when it's filled in, it can be equal to, when it's not filled in, it cannot be equal to. And then since it's less than, I'm gonna draw a line with an arrow extending this direction to show that X is less than or equal to four. So we start here, open circle, and then we show that it can be less than or equal to. Next one, X is greater than or equal to negative two. Um, oops, wrong color. So let's draw a number line. So we have negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. Okay, so since it can be equal to, we're gonna put a closed circle above the negative two. And then since it's greater than, we're gonna draw an arrow going in the direction numbers bigger than negative two. Okay, last one. Let's do negative three. Is less than x. And x is less than or equal to one. So here this says x is greater than negative three and x is less than or equal to one. So let's draw our number line negative four, negative three, negative two, one, zero, one, two, three. Okay, so let's start by putting our circles. So negative three, there's no or equal to, so let's put an open circle here. And then since it can be equal to one, we'll put a closed circle above the one. So it says X is greater than three or or and x is less than one, which means that x is going to be somewhere in between these two. So it's in between those two there. It cannot be negative three, but it can be one. 